All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Rocket Vlogs. All the internal fillets on the big V2 are done. So it's time to move on to the external ones. And uh, I thought it'd be kind of fun to uh, do this like Adam Savage tested one day build style where I basically kind of just tell you what I'm gonna do and then I just do it and you guys watch. So I'm gonna try and edit that video, this video like that. You guys let me know what you think if you like it that way or if I should just go back to the way I was doing things before. But uh, I know in the last video I skipped a couple steps that people didn't get to see very well. Um, mostly just sanding and stuff and tedious things like that. But I'm happy to film it if you guys wanna see it. So uh, yeah, let's get to it. I should note the only thing that's changed since the last time you saw this and now is uh, I used some West Systems Epoxy to fill the gaps in the uh, fins to the body tube so that I could, or the tail cone I guess, so that I could do these fillets without them running down inside there. Something I started doing with my minimum diameter is I let the epoxy sit for maybe 20 or 30 minutes and just like try and spread it around the cup or even better yet put it on a plate or something and just let it gas out all the bubbles and everything and then it makes it a little bit thicker so when you pull it it's not going to try and run. So while we're waiting we're going to uh, put some U-bolts in here. I'm also going to do something I've never done on a rocket before, but I need to be doing on all of my rockets, and that's 
write my name and how to contact me if you find it. Um, I am going to put my trip or my phone number on here, but what I'm not going to do is show it on camera because I've made this mistake of putting my phone number on the internet through YouTube before. Like I do, and then he sent me a screenshot of my own address. I was like, yeah, let's go ahead and delete that. I was like, believe me, I am familiar with my address, and I would prefer that you aren't. Yeah, I'd be a little, little less afraid of the Rocket community knowing my address and phone number, but yeah, what are these things? Uh, my Fusion, oh. the LDRS forty one. Those are the ones I fiberglassed. I definitely should have done one more pump of epoxy. There's a couple low spots, but those will get filled as we uh, prep it for paint. The beautiful part of doing these fillets that. We're using 30 minute epoxy to glue this ring in, but you're gonna see me do something on this build that you don't see me do on any others. Typically my shock cord is anchored to the motor tube and epoxy to it with Kevlar. So I'm not usually worried about uh, the stresses of the shock cord because it's glued to the motor tube and the motor tube has fillets attached to it that are also attached to both the centering rings. However, that's not the case with this rocket. So what we're going to do is after I get this tacked in place, so I'm going to make sure we have a really good seal all the way around right here and on the motor tube. Because what we're going to do is after this dries and I make sure it's not going to have any spots where it can run through I'm going to pour a layer of West Systems Epoxy on top of the ring. Where? Burtson's. Oh yeah. The eagle one? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, this doesn't look horrible. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for coming into another episode of Rocket Vlogs. There's the fillets. 
Uh, I dipped my finger in the denatured alcohol and managed to smooth out that spot I bumped with my finger earlier. Nice. So, still gonna need some filling, but uh, they're not bad at all. They're pretty, pretty tacked up so far. But uh, yeah, gonna do three more sets of fillets. But obviously, you guys have seen me do plenty of fillets, and you don't want to see any more of that. Uh, we gotta let this epoxy dry. This is gonna take a nice long time since there's no fillers or anything in it. It's probably gonna be a good eight hours or so. The Just Keep Building Rockets merch landed. I got my sample shirt. I opted to use the fancier uh, triple or tri-blend t-shirts that cost a little bit more and it's super, super comfortable. So if you wanna check it out, it's rocketvlogs.com or the link will be in the description and you can use the uh, discount code JKBR for free shipping. This shirt and those glasses are only available through the end of December. I gotta go back to work now, but thank you for watching. And I'll see you next time.